is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have another two-in-one wwe elite series review on the wwe elite 82 john morrison and alexa bliss figures now, this is a very big deal this is our first john morrison elite or first current john morrison elite and it's our second john morrison elite since he came back to wwe which i'm very excited for got all the updates got all the nice stuff going on with it and alexa bliss we haven't really had a figure of her in a very long time whereas as far as elites are concerned of course we've gotten some basics those aren't very good. And we got our first ever Women's Tag Team Championship that seems like we, we've been missing these titles in our collection for a very long time now, but we're going to get into all the details, guys. First off, starting out with the packaging, you got the front viewing windows right here. Beautiful image of both right there. On the side, you get the same image right there, practically. Yeah, same exact image. On the back, you get an image of both making their ways to the ring. You got the little bio read. If you like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. On the other side, you get the same image as on the back, and that's pretty much it for our packaging of John Morrison and Alexa Bliss. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack John Morrison and Alexa Bliss out of their packaging. But before we do that, guys, if you'd like to pick up either of these figures, go over to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout out to them for making this video possible, but we're going to shut the hell up and crack John Morrison and Alexa out of the boxes. So here's John Morrison and Alexa Bliss out of the packaging, guys, and I'm pretty impressed with what we've gotten so far, what I've seen, what I've posed around, and everything like that. There are a few things that I am not happy with about the figures, and we're going to get into all of that stuff. But you guys already know how this works. We're going to run through one of their accessories and then the figure themselves, and then run it back and do the same thing for the other figure. So let's go ahead and start off with Alexa Bliss's accessories, and then Alexa Bliss, and then we will go over to John Morrison's accessories, and then John Morrison. So with that being said, let's get this football game started. So for Alexa Bliss's accessories, guys, she does come with two pairs of interchangeable hands as well as a championship. Getting into the hands first, I want to start off with these hands. These are the hands that she comes out of the packaging with. These are her entrance hands. You guys know she comes out and her music's playing and she's standing on the stage and she does this right here. She's got the skeleton hand gloves. I like the paint going on. I like the black gloves. They are sculpted on nice. They're painted on nice. Fingernails look kind of wacky on the on this hand right here, the right hand on your left side, but they look pretty good. I like the sculpt. I like the color. I like that we actually get the entrance hands, you know, to give us that option of doing the entrance pose. So we do have that. I think in years past they've had these little things that clip onto her hands for the entrance. So this looks really good. I like that. And then her interchangeable hands are mic holding hands. She's got the black nail polish on. Oh, just the thumb. Ah, oh, just the thumb. So just the thumb is painted and the rest of her fingers are, but she's got mic holding hands. So you love to see mic holding hands with any figure. And then last but not least, one of the selling points of this is the Women's Tag Team Championship. And if we zoom in, guys, will you notice where it says Women's Tag Team Champion? First of all, you can barely see Tag Team. Tag Team really doesn't stand out because they just printed it on. They didn't mold it on. And then you guys will notice instead of women's, it says women's or W-O-M-E-H-S. And every single one has that. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a running change for ones. Probably at the store, we'll probably end up having women's. But for these, they, uh, they have an H. Any one of them that got shipped out to ringside, guys, they have an H instead of an N. And that is very unfortunate. But the white strap looks good. I feel like the title looks pretty tiny. But it is a women's championship. I feel like a lot of the championships are much smaller with the women because you don't want them carrying around these large just freaking massive championships but I'm pretty sure compared to the men's championships they are smaller but the white strap looks good and besides the little typo on there and everything I think it looks all right this is uh this is a very nice looking championship even though women's championship tag team belts should have never been made and I've made many videos on it but you know here we are now we have it in Mattel figure form if you want to make a women's tag team division that could be much better do it in your fed but that does it for Alexa Bliss's accessories guys so let's dive into Alexa Bliss herself. So getting into Alexa Bliss, guys, I think this head sculpt definitely works. I think it definitely captures Alexa Bliss. I like the smiling head sculpt. I typically don't like smiling head sculpts, but I do understand it. We've gotten a pissed off Alexa Bliss before. We got the smirking Alexa Bliss in the Elite 53 wave, I'm pretty sure. And so this works out. You know, I, I know we have plenty of Alexa Bliss head sculpts, but this one definitely is one of the better ones. I like the ponytail with the, uh, the pink ombre going through. That looks really, really good. Got a little exorcism going right there. Going down into the attire, I love the lime green and pink. This is very similar to her attire. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same attire that we got with her Elite 53 figure, except it has lime green instead of light blue with the Harley Quinn attire. Uh, skin tone looks good. I like uh, the torso choice and everything. The only thing I hate about this torso is there's literally no... I mean, like, you can go side to side and back a little bit. You cannot crunch forward whatsoever, so that is pretty terrible. Moving on down, she does have her black and pink trunks on there. Upper thigh cut. She is on ball joints because every woman's figure is on ball joints. Nice thighs going on. No, you know, pantyhose or anything like that. 
I'm pretty sure she wears them, but you know, you can't see them on the figure. You got the nice knee pads, black kick pads, and then she does have the pink strings on the back. And the this is pretty much the Elite 53. This is pretty much the Elite 53 different head sculpt women's championship or women's tag team championship comes with it, but it very, it, her, her elites always feel good in the hand, you know, like they, they pose around well, they stand nice, they don't fall over, they actually feel like a solid structure that you can pose around, so that is always nice to see. Still don't have the navel piercing right there, which I would like to see on the women's figures just because that's a detail that we really need on the women's figures, man. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the Alexa Bliss figure, so let's get into some Alexa Bliss figure comparisons. So for your Alexa Bliss figure comparisons, guys, you have the Elite 82 on the left, and you have the Elite 53 with a head swap on the right, and I still definitely like, I think this is that, uh, that fan central head sculpt on the Elite 53 figure. We did that fix up on surgery, and this is still my uh, standalone favorite Alexa Bliss. I think maybe the makeup could be touched up around the eyes or something, and it would probably capture it better and maybe look more like Alexa Bliss, but this is still my favorite Alexa Bliss to date, I think. It just looks so good, and you guys can see we have the difference between the smiling head sculpt and the pissed off head sculpt, and I like Alexa Bliss as a heel. I think she fits better naturally as a heel, and uh, this is just a better figure. You guys can see the, the same differences in the top, but on this figure, I feel like you get more detail on the trunks, you get more details on the wrist gauntlets here, you get more details on the kick pads, and I like the pissed off head sculpt more and the hair more, so no doubt about it, I still like this figure better, but this is not a bad elite Alexa Bliss whatsoever, but before we get out of here with the comparisons, I do want to compare her also to Nikki Cross. So there is Nikki Cross with her tag team partner, Alexa Bliss. Hated them as a team, didn't like it, never liked it, but there you go. If you wanted to see these two up next to each other, there you go. They fit pretty good in scale. Also, here's the Women's Tag Team Championship over the figure's shoulder or something. If you guys wanted to see how it's size comparison, there you go. And then for our final figure comparison, we have our Fiend figure. You have the Fiend and you have Alexa Bliss up next to each other. The Fiend towers over much bigger like he should be, so I think if you wanted to do that, it all works out. So for John Morrison's accessories, guys, we do get two pairs of interchangeable hands again. Starting out with these, you do get this. Same skin tone and everything like that. Nothing too important with that. He also comes with mic holding hands, which you love to see. Gotta have the mic holding hands for mic holding and other things. And then probably his two best accessories, you have his headband and glasses, and it's very interesting. These are connected. I thought they were two separate pieces, but they are connected in one rubber piece. You guys can see you got the black bandana going across the forehead. It's got this Johnny logo. Very nice font. He's got the glasses that are also rubber. So that's pretty weird. In years past, we I don't think we've ever seen rubber glasses. It's always been the plastic piece for the glasses. I really would have liked to have seen two separate pieces, plastic glasses and then a nice headband, but I understand it. I'm sure maybe it's just because of the tooling and, you know, trying to get this on the figure, but it will go on the figure nice. You just put it into the slots on the sides of the ears, and it will go onto the figure. Now, I will say that I feel like since it's rubber, it doesn't snugly fit as much as I'd like, and it kind of has like a, I don't know, it makes his head shape look a little bit weird. Like, look at his hair, and then look at his head, and look how it just sticks on there. I mean, it's not bad by any means, but I feel like it kind of looks like alien or futuristic looking. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible, so there you go. Nice Johnny Mundo football, football, football glasses and headband, and then we have this beautiful trench coat or entrance jacket, robe, whatever the hell you want to call this thing, that's very nice. We've seen this in the years past, I think, except it does have nice prints on it, so you can compare it to I'm trying to think of who this came with. I want to say this, it's kind of like the Undertaker's jacket. Maybe a little bit smaller than the Undertaker's jacket, but it does have these nice studs on the front here. It's got these nice patterns going all the way around and the silver and stuff. And I think that not only can you put this on the John Morrison figure, I'll go ahead and stick it on. I know you guys already kind of saw it, but if you guys want to see what it looks like again, we will put this on again and you guys can see exactly what it looks like on the figure. So here he is wearing the trench coat and it's pretty solid. I like it. I think it looks good. You got all the patterns and studs going all the way around. The only thing that I will say is I think you could also put this on the edge. So I'm going to put this on edge just in case you guys were wondering. I know I mentioned it in the video that this might work for edge like in a pick fed or something and we're going to find out right now how good it looks on an edge figure. And yeah, dude, that would totally work. So if you wanted to use this for an edge entrance coat, I'm definitely going to be trying to put this on the Ultimate Edition on the Elite 83. This looks sick. I think the patterns work for edge. They, it just reminds me more of maybe a throwback edge, like maybe an early 2000s, mid 2000s edge rather than than, you know, a later 2000s edge, but I still like it. I think it looks good. All the studs and stuff look really good, and if you wanted to put this on your edge figure, there you go. I think it totally works out, especially with these studs on the front, but there is your John Morrison accessories, guys. So, with that being said, let's dive into John Morrison himself. So, getting into John Morrison, guys, you will see the updated John Morrison head sculpt, and I think it looks like John Morrison, you know. I, I think it does work out for him. It's definitely more detailed, and it has more things going on with it than any other John Morrison we've ever gotten. I like the facial hair printed on there. I like the eyes. I do notice that he is looking slightly off to the left. I will say 
say that on this torso though, it kind of looks like his neck is like missing. It doesn't look terrible, but I think how ripped up this torso is and everything compared to the shoulder size and the arm size is kind of throwing me off a little bit. And like from far off, I'll see if I can get a good shot of it. Uh, from far off, it just kind of looks kind of stumpy. It's not really coming across on camera, but you can definitely notice it in person. Like it's very weird. Like, it, God, that's so weird. Like for sure he looks stumpy when you're looking at it like this, but when you look at it on camera, you really can't notice it that much. Let me know if you guys can see that down in the comment section below, but he does have the Elite 27 Fandango torso, the freaking notoriously over shredded crazy torso with like all these dips, like the freaking 3% body fat sculpt. And you know, for anybody that this torso could work for, John Morrison is probably the only guy that this could work for. So I really don't mind it that much. I think maybe the Dolph Ziggler or Randy Orton torso would probably look better. I'm not sure how the head would fit on there better. We'll see about that. We may do some surgery with it. I think I do want to get a couple of this figure, you know, so we can do some switches and swappages. That way we can find out what all works and interchangeability and all that stuff. But he does have standard Seth Rollins arms of the size of Seth Rollins arms. He has two black elbow pads. Going down into the crotch, he does have the black crotch with the black belt. I'm not sure if this is the same crotch as Fandango or not, but he does have uh, the pockets painted on there. He's got a nice sculpted wrinkles going on on the front right here. On the legs, these are Elite 27 Fandango legs. I'm pretty sure he is on ball joints, so he can do the split seats. You love to see that. He kicks forward. He can do all the John Morrison things, because you guys know he is super athletic. He can do a lot of crazy things. Does his own stunts in his movies, and uh, he does have these nice patterns going along the front in the black, silver, and it's like a lightish teal, bluish color going on. At the bottom, he does have the silver. I high key miss his tassel look. I think his tassel look was more fire, but you know, it is what it is. Got the silver, got the lining and everything and on his feet he has kick pad feet which are really interesting didn't expect that whatsoever but he has kick pad feet so there you go and then you got the black and white wrist bands on there or wrist gauntlets whatever you want to call those but that pretty much does it for our John Morrison figure guys so with that being said let's get into some John Morrison elite figure comparisons so for your John Morrison elite figure comparisons guys we have the new elite 82 here on the left we have my fix up survivor series elite we have my elite four and then we have the regular survivor series elite and all of them look good you know I'm really excited to expand the John Morrison collection. I used to have the Elite 10 John Morrison in the gray pants, but I turned it into a custom Dolph Ziggler in like promo attire. So this looks really good. I like what all the different colors we got going on. I really need to track down another Elite 10 and get some different head sculpts in here to do some swaps. Uh, make that Texas A&M attire out of this by switching out the gauntlets or the tassels with white and then painting all the gold white. I think that'd be really cool with the bronzish maroon and white. I like all this stuff we got going on. Maybe you could even switch the Survivor Series head sculpt onto the Elite 82 and make a cool like hybrid old slash new John Morrison or a new Johnny Nitro type figure. But man, it's really cool to see all these up next to each other. I do want to slide these glasses off on the Elite Four and see what we got going on because this head sculpt for the time was not bad whatsoever. Of course, you have way more details now on these new head sculpts. So obviously this one looks more cartoony, but you guys can see the difference in the torsos and stuff, which one would look better. And then you have these gigantic arms over here on the Survivor Series Elite that would probably look better on this figure. Maybe we could pop these arms over there and see what that looks like. It probably would look better, but I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but it is really exciting to add these John Morrisons. Need to get more of them. I like John Morrison a lot. I think he's a really good talent, and it's just trippy to finally see an updated John Morrison. I know, like, forever, like, a couple years ago, we would beg for John Morrisons, and I remember that Elite Four leak on Amazon. You guys remember when they had that Elite Four uh, pop there on Amazon? It was like, Elite Four John Morrison. We were all like, what the hell's going on? And then he ended up coming back to the company, and we finally got a couple new John Morrison leaks, and hopefully they pump them out again. I'd like to see a white attire made, but that pretty much does it for your John Morrison Elite figure comparisons. And for one more comparison, guys, I forgot to get the Miz in here with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, so there is the Miz up next to Morrison. I think it works out. Uh, if you wanted to use the Elite 53 Miz, not the Elite 53, but the Elite 59, the one in the black gear, I think you could match these two and make them look pretty good, especially with updated head sculpts and stuff and make these guys a tag team in your fed or something. I think that would work out, so there you go, and I did figure out these glasses actually fit this figure. Uh, they don't like go over the ear or anything, but they still look good on the figure, so there you go. If you guys want to try that. There you go. Well, anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for the 2-in-1 Elite 82 review on the John Morrison and Alexa Bliss figures. If you guys are fans of either character and want updated versions of these or you missed out on the Elite 4, the Survivor Series, the Elite 10, any of those older John Morrison figures, then this is definitely a figure you want to grab to get John Morrison into your collection. If you want to update your roster, if you want to expand on your roster, your updates, you definitely need to track it down. I think this Alexa Bliss is good. If you don't have an Alexa Bliss or if you just have basic Alexa Blisses, like if you've never owned an Elite Alexa Alexa Bliss and you all only have all these, you know, these basics that are really, really cheap, then I would most definitely get this Alexa Bliss. If you guys run a women's division in your pick feds, you definitely need an Alexa Bliss, especially if you're running with elites and stuff. You definitely want all that articulation, so this is definitely a figure you'd like to grab as
as well. But overall, I do enjoy both. I think they're both pretty good John Brown figures. I like John Morrison better than the Alexa Bliss, I think. But the Alexa Bliss is not bad by any means, but I feel like it was kind of a filler figure. They didn't really do anything new or creative with it as far as sculpt and mold and stuff. Or It, it was pretty much the same exact Elite 53, but it took a step back in terms of details and things. But we did get the Women's Championship, and if you guys would like a Women's Championship in your, in your, you know, in your collection, you'd have to get two of them because we don't have a second partner yet for Alexa Bliss. I'm guessing we're going to get an updated Nikki Cross with the Women's Championship to go in there. That way it will, you know, it will update everybody, but, and we'll get our second Women's Tag Team Championship. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS when shopping over there so you do not, you know, have to spend full price right there. So that 10% can go a long way, guys, especially when you're buying stuff and, you know, constantly ordering from Ringside Collectibles. You will save a lot of money. So definitely use the promo code when you order over at Ringside Collectibles. But for our random shout out for today, guys, if you guys did not know, we give a random shout out to a random commenter in every video. So give me a comment, leave me a like, and let's dive into this comment. So this shout out goes to Wrestling God. He said that intro with Brad being in WWE Creative had me dying. And I appreciate that, Wrestling God. Yeah, I really have fun with the intros or I'm trying my best to. I don't know if there's going to be an intro on this video simply because I kind of got up late and I don't want it to be any later than it is. Those segments actually take me a little bit to film because I got to think of a script, you know, real quick. You know, you got to think about it, then you have to record the different angles, and then if you don't get it right, and then you have to plug it in and edit it. So it definitely is a lengthier process, but I really enjoy doing those. So hopefully those will continue to be a thing on the channel as much as possible. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching the review. We got Survivor Series tonight, so just buckle the hell up and let's see what we got. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.